and we are in line three their blood they have shed like water all around jerusalem and there was no one to bury them and so here it is another uh imagery that he's given us using a simile comparing um the blood how the blood would just pour out like water all around jerusalem so comparing like the blood and, and water so their blood have shed like water all around jerusalem and there was no one to bury them so the bodies were just laying there for the birds to um you know just to pick at for food and also blood would just just poured out of them like water line four we have become a reproach to our neighbors a scorn and derision to those who are around us so that reproach remember is like a revile or a taunting so we have become a reproach to our neighbors and it's going to derision to those who are around us. And that sends about the neighbors, that sends us to Psalm 44, 13. That says, you make us a reproach to our neighbors and a scorn and a derision to those all around us. And so that just to uh, corroborate that. And... Um, also moving into our next stanza how long O oh lord excuse me how long lord will you be angry forever will your jealousy burn like fire pour out your wrath on the nations and that pour out your wrath on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name for they have devoured da jacob and laid waste his dwelling place and so going back and elaborate on five, how long, Lord, plain and simple, asking how long, you know, that's going to continue to happen uh, to them. How long um, will he's going to be, will, you know, asking him if he's going to be angry forever and will his je jealousy burn like fire. And so that sends us to Psalm 74, uh, 1 and 9, lines 1 and 9. It says, oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pastor? And also 9 says, we do not see our sins. Excuse me, we do not see our signs. There is no longer any prophet, nor is there any among us who knows how long. And so we talked about that when we covered 74, you know, about, you know, you feel it. I mean, you know, we go on and we do our, our own little thing. And stuff like that forget about god and when things start going awry and start going uh the wrong way then we want to you know ask god you know how long we have to you know go through something okay whenever he sees fit and and to, to let off whenever it's in his timing it's all in his timing and let's go into uh line six it says pour out your wrath on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name and so that sends us uh, back to jeremiah 10 25 that says pour out your fury on the gentiles who do not know you and on the families who do not call on your name and so that sends us back to uh where we come from uh, psalm 79 6 and 7 and then also it sends us to Job 18.21. But let me finish reading this. It says, pour out your fear on the Gentiles who do not know you and on the families who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Jacob, devoured him and consumed him and made, him, made his habitation desolate. And so that sends us to Job 18.21. And you already know we couldn't get through a lamenting song without touching Job somewhere okay so job 18 21 that says surely such are the dwellings of the wicked and this is a place of him who does not know god and that sends us back to jeremiah 9 3 Let's see what that says quickly that says and like their Bow, they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valiant for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil. 
to evil and they do not know me, says the Lord. And clearly, um, if they knew God, then they wouldn't even attack his people. But apparently, they don't know God and so they, they could care less. And sometimes people could know that you are a child of God and that's what, that will make them want to attack you even more. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. And so, um, and so it says, we'll uh, burn like, okay, pour out your, and then it says, and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. And then, so that sends us to Psalm 53, 4. 53, 4. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God. And that's what they do. That's what they do. So let's go ahead and pause here and we'll pick it up in line seven. 